What qualities of uh, Kelly Kamara really stood out in your mind that uh, she was she was the one you wanted to hire? Well, I think the biggest key is the personalities on your staff. I mean, you, you can't all be alike. Um, and I wanted, um, you know, someone that was very intense, very passionate. Um, probably, um, if you do a DIS program, a personality of a D. Um, you know, so I, I think that she did that as a player. Um, she's still a go-getter. Um, she has passion for anything that she does. So. With talking to people, you know, she's going to take initiative, be very proactive. But, you know, someone that is, um, you know, is not going to just sit and wait for things to happen. And, and I think that was good. And then, you know, I, I want somebody that leaves black and gold. You know, I want some loyalty. I want some, uh, um, you know, understand that this is one of the top programs in the country and, and believes it every single day when they're here. And, um, you know, I just think her personality um, and the wide range of, conferences and the people she worked for and with I think that's really really important because she can bring different things to the table um, you know from an outside perspective whether it's SEC where whether it's you know Katie I have so much respect for at Albany you know and and you know nailed down at um, Auburn so I mean there's different pieces and, and so collectively it, it was a great fit I mean I interviewed like eight people on the phone face to face but with three people and um, you know Kelly just kept surfacing to the top you talk about you know recruiting being a key piece. Mm -hmm. Where does she fit in, in that, in your opinion? Well, I think you know um, when you live it and you've been here, yeah. and she was able to be part of the best history ever here. Um, you know, she can sell me. She can sell this university. She can sell our program. You know, and I think uh, th that's the big key right now with recruiting. I think she has. You know, there's uh, facets of locations and areas that she, you know, can bring in different ties. Um, I think our footprint is expanding, so, you know, I may change some things on our staff where we recruit another area and have her, you know, come in and do the different areas that she has her strengths with. But um, she's very well connected, and I think that's, that's where it starts. You gotta be well connected and people have to have respect for you. She's, you know, she worked with post players at Albany. Mm -hmm. um, how much did that experience really the fact that she can do multiple things and not mm -hmm. just wasn't tied to the guards or anything like that. You know, I thought it was key. When I talked to Katie, she kind of laughed, you know, um, you know, she's like, well, she works with the post. And I said, well, that's great because you learn more about the game. You understand more when you can do both. If you just only do one um, area of development, then you're not growing as a coach. So she probably even became better. And I think, um, you know, obviously she'll be working with our ones and twos and Nadine works with the twos and threes. They kind of overlap a little bit, but the point guard area, um, you know, she played here. She was tough and, and very tenacious, but, you know, when all of a sudden someone leaves and they're on the road, you know, she can be down working with the post rather than me maybe work with the post all the time. So uh, I just think, again, it just expands um, your staff when you have a variety of skill sets that are coming into your staff now.